I appreciate that. And one of the reasons that I try to um, talk about what UCLA itself controls by sharing with you um, UCLA investment company um, investments in the 0.04% that you mentioned is because that's what we control. And, you know, I was talking with the chancellor um, and obviously the regents own everything at the University of California. So we have to see whether there's a way to move forward with transparency. I know one of your demands was, was divest, but also transparency. Um, learning more about that 0.04% or even if there are other companies that, as you define it, don't fit into the framework that we've currently used. And so, we, you know, we're open to looking into how we might do that. And, and I think that... We're not uh, interested in just looking into it. We're not interested well, in having endless bureaucratic conversations. We're not interested in this being a decade-long process. But we have to establish the facts, though, right? One, cannot, one yeah. request, cannot, one demand cannot be separated from the other. We require transparency because our real demand is divestment. Right. Well, but you, but you have to understand the facts before you can divest, if, if that's an option. And again, what we control here at, the univer uh, at UCLA is the UCLA Investment Company and the region's control um, at, the, at the UC level. And so we, have, we, we can't, that's a demand that we can't here at UCLA unilaterally meet. I mean, frankly, uh, in that case, you might not be the right person for us to be talking to. Ultimately, yeah. what we are trying to leverage is the money that the regions invest yeah, in. So yeah. we, you can set, promise things, you yeah. can say, my hands are tied, but ultimately, we are here until the regents divest. We understand right, who right. our enemy is here. We understand yeah. who is calling the shots, pulling the strings. And it doesn't matter what UCLA says. It doesn't matter what you say. We're here until the right. regents divest. Well, I mean, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'm not the right person. I mean, I, I do care about your demands. I want to hear about your experiences. And, um, you know, genocide is a horrific thing. And, um, you know, we want to create space at UCLA for people to express themselves freely without fear of, of threat. Again, what happened last night um, was completely unacceptable. Um, it was a, something that, on the one hand, we talk about wanting to remove the police, but to protect something like what happened last night, I mean, you've got to have three or 400 police officers. So that's not true, because well, the police so were you, there, and it? they didn't do anything. No, no. The only people that protected they, they, they were the, the police came in waves last night. They came like 20, 20 and then they, they were amassing to the number that they actually, finally actually, got Actually, the police did actually do something yesterday. The police did do something yesterday. You know what the police did? The police detained one of our own people, tackled them to the ground up there. Yeah, called a medical emergency. What? Chained them to a closet. Locked him in a closet. Refused to let medical medics get through to him. Hurt the medics. When they tried well, to get through to him? Yeah, yeah I, I again, I, I haven't heard about that, but that sounds... Haven't that heard sounds, about that. It was yeah, a exactly. detainment that happened yesterday morning. Yeah, well, I mean, I, you know, I've been... He's I've not been a Fed. He's the vice chancellor. Happened. I mean, I've been, you know, around the clock trying to figure out, you know, what's going on and trying to message to the campus and, and, and trying to arrange a time to meet with you. I mean, also, I've been another talking thing is. Here. If you use that logic, October 7th was 40K Americans equivalent. That would mean Israel's killed 5.6 million equivalent Americans forget that like Jean Block is also the head of that board of directors so it's uh -oh. money not only that we want that and we want to divest from that and we want to divest from the regents money as right, well right, right. but let's start where it is let's not undermine how much we are investing currently as the right. UCLA foundation right, right. in these companies well let's, well, let's it's go. like percentages yeah. are a great way to undermine how much we're profiting from death and destruction. Yeah. Well, but when we look at the numbers, three million dollars in Lockheed Martin, for example, is an immense amount of money. Yeah. Well. <sighs> you know, that's that's one of the things that we, we're going to have to look at. I mean, you know, we can certainly look at it in terms of transparency and find out. And, and, you know, Vice Chancellor being there is and, is and good though. It's good specifically because that means like even though there's like all this police presence, maybe they won't do anything. Hopefully, and manufacture consent from your students. Let's not forget that academically, also all these academic programs that you are having that we are asking you to defund, that we are asking you to stop having on this campus, are extremely important. I mean, last quarter we had a war criminal on our campus. We had a war criminal on our campus. Yeah. You know, it's um, you know, we, we have different. We have you know academic problems. I mean, academic programs. We have academic freedom. Um, 
you know, we have debate. Um, you know, we, you know, I don't personally hire faculty members. Um, are, faculty are, you, members are you here to make program. excuses to us or are you no. here to have a serious conversation? Well, no, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here to listen to your concerns. I'm here to listen to your critiques. And I'm here to give you an account for why the things you're critiquing Well, you're saying exists. that you've been requesting not, a meeting. We, have, we had conditions for how yeah. we're going to meet with right, you. And you right. abused those conditions over and over. How, how did I abuse the conditions? You refused our conditions over and over. What were the conditions I refused? We asked for one that you came to the encampment. Uh, earlier today, you tried to move us to a neutral zone. Uh, because of impending arrest, which clearly is in bad faith because of it puts everybody in here at risk. Shame! Shame. Uh, that, wasn't, that wasn't my intention. You know, my intention was to have a meeting right. in, a, in a space um, that we could, we could talk. Yeah. yeah, we also asked for amnesty while negotiations continue. We as students are putting ourselves in so much visibility right now just being here talking yeah, to yeah, you. Yeah. Well, 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 you know what it means. I for think me, he looks. Uh, I mean, this is not great optics for the students. I, 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 I can tell, this is not great optics for the students, specifically because, like, while they do have the moral high ground in this circumstance, this is a professional, elderly adult in a position of power, and he looks very cool, calm, and collected. And footage like this will be used against him. I mean, uh, against the students to be like, see how fucking. Uh, mean-spirited they are you know what i mean optics in this situation is very important i'm serious the I'm, police I'm low, did not right? protect us the police has never yeah, protected yeah. us yeah the police had to <laughs> had to mask to a certain level to deal with the we had oh to protect us so after no. fighting the fascists for seven hours we had to we had to defend ourselves from the police when they showed up yeah, well, again, um, I, 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 if that's true, that's completely unacceptable. Why, you know, I, we, we can't have the police um, attacking people that they're here to protect, you know, given the aggressors who came on campus. I mean, that's, that, that's not acceptable. It's a nice sentiment, and again, but I want to see it in practice. Well, we have to understand. I mean, you know, there's a lot happening last night, and we're still trying to understand exactly what happened, which is why there's going to be an investigation that's going to get to the bottom of the whole thing. What do you not understand about speaking, what happened last night? Well, I mean, you're, you're giving me accounts of things that I didn't personally see, uh, and we're trying to figure out... Gene Block shirts on! Gene Block was on what happened! I'm have sorry? videos of it that are po posted everywhere. Yeah, but when, when you're accusing someone of doing something, you have to... Oh my god, they should just show them the video. If only one of the students had a video that they could show, like a like a Twitter thread. <laughs> that would help us, you know, um, bring, make people accountable who did things. I mean, we're going to try to do the same thing with the people who attacked the camp. If we did we not Did we not find out that Gene Block was sitting up there and Royce watching this well, all happen? In, he wasn't in Royce, I don't think, but he, he was watching, as was I. Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't know where he was personally, because we weren't in the I same mean, space. He's, he's we doing a bad job. Room. He's yeah. doing a Gene bad Block job defending this, these today, positions. Today, that still. he was sitting in Royce Hall and watched everything happen and unfold. What do you have to say about that? How do you feel about that? How do you feel that our chancellor was sitting in Royce Hall while he saw all of us ambushed, raided, maced, beaten, brutalized? How, do you, how does that make you feel? How does that make you feel? Left to fucking die. How does that make you feel? Uh-oh. Well, um... What do you have to say about that? Well, uh -oh. What do you have to say about Block sitting in there not doing anything? Watching it unfold? Well, Wait till I got killed! Black was on the phone calling every police office it, he could find to try to get people out here to stop what was going on. That's what he was doing. I mean, with, you know, I mean, he wasn't going to come out himself and put on a suit, I think, and, and, and fight, you know, back. Well, I mean, you know, I mean, that, that's that was his role as chancellor was to call authorities and to get the, you know, get the, um, 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 get the, get the, the thing out is, here. the thing is that you're not hearing is that while you guys are looking into it, while you guys are investigating, we are the ones living it. We are the ones who are on the front lines with our bodies, trying to make sure that we are keeping ourselves safe. While you guys are calling police, while you guys are calling on people to come brutalize us, we are the ones here trying to protect ourselves. There is no urgency. We don't see any urgency from you guys coming and trying to prevent these things from happening. We've been in this encampment for...
five, six days now, and the nights have been escalating. The violence that we've experienced has only escalated as each night continues. And the fact that this had to happen for you to come and talk to us, for you to actually give a shit about our people being on the front lines, about being brutalized, is like it shows your guys' intentions. You've never been here in good faith. You've never listened to the students. The fact that we have to get beat for you to care about us shows your intentions. Well, no, actually, that's not true. Let me correct the record. Like, again, since Friday, I've been trying to meet with you well before last night happened. And we couldn't find a date. We had originally... We, okay, uh, we have a question we want an answer yeah. to. Is there going to be a sweep or not? You've been threatening yeah. us. The university no. has been threatening us with a sweep. No. So, That's what I'm good. told is that the police officers who are currently here, yeah, LAPD. Um, who we do not direct at this point, they've amassed... I think they this dude came out knowing that I they mean, would be caught um, off guard and we yell at him discredited today. movement we, as we a part of previous yeah. negotiations. Yeah. Yeah. As a part of previous, wait, what did he say? Did he say that we want to give amnesty to students who are just here in the encampment, um, and you know, and and not pursue them for student conduct violations for anything they may have done in the encampment? If if they, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. For being here. What you need to understand is that to this day. The university is not only profiting off of violence, not only in Palestine, but here. Did you not allow Zionists to come and terrorize us on Sunday? You gave them permits. That is a microcosm of the violence that is being enacted in Gaza. You to this day are allowing Zionists onto this campus. You knew they were here. You said that you did not know. What is Sunday? They raised $80,000 to terrorize us. And you allowed this to happen. You don't need UCPD. You don't need LAPD because you have Zionists. And enabling them to do so is evidence that you have no. Yeah. Yeah. Not only do you have no sense, you have no morality. Yeah. Well, um, you know. They did talk about divestment and earlier, you Bone Town and Mogay. But you said. Uh, as a part of previous negotiations with UC, this is not a good strategy. In 2006, I was part of a negotiation team at UCSC. I think this dude came out knowing that they would be caught off guard and would yell at him, discrediting the movement. I think that's, uh, that is like part of the goal here, is that this is not an honest discussion, but instead simply to just like make the students look emotional um, in night, the face of a dude who's cool, calm, and collected. How would we stop hundreds of people running on campus from different directions? We don't. We protected ourselves. But what you need to understand is that whatever happened last night is on your hands. Whatever happens today with these cops, when they come and do whatever they do to us, we understand what we're facing. And we're standing here okay, this guy's understanding good. this and ready for whatever is to come. But we need you to know that whatever happens to us, that's on the school. Whatever happens tomorrow in response to what happens today, that's on the school. Because we're here to protect our stance. We're a sweep here to push is like taking up the encampments. I know you're saying, oh, I don't have power over the UC, uh, over the LAPD, you don't have jurisdiction over them. We understand what we are facing down. And the impact that the school can have by cutting these investments. That is what we are here facing this brutality in order to push. So if they clear us, you've seen what happens to other schools after they've cleared their encampments. What happened the next day? This movement doesn't end today. This movement will never end until the investment. Okay. Yeah. 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 As, as uh, we get brutalized, as we get arrested, whatever happens to the students right here, we will keep pushing until divestment. Yeah. Yeah. I want to reemphasize that stood a hundred yards away from what was happening to us yesterday and what is happening to us tomorrow what is happening to us today it will it will we will not stop we will not stop from coming back we will not stop from from doing whatever we can wherever we are from wherever you put us we will continue to fight for gaza because we are facing a sliver of the repression and the violence that is happening in palestine we are facing it today and by your hands by your hands by the cops covering their badge numbers down there by the cops flying over us right now. You have jurisdiction. You have power. Oh, they you shut have power off the to green talk to area. Regions. You have power to talk to Block. You have power to talk to every administrator fucking harassing us and uh, calling cops to assault us. And, and I'm going to answer your question since you asked what we want the police to do. What did the police do in this situation different than Tulsa? 
What did the police do in this situation different than Greensboro? What did the police do in this situation different from every other instance of mass lynching where they just put their hands in their pockets when they went up in the jails to grab niggas to lynch them? What did they do? Would you want, would you tell a Tulsa massacre victim that they should have called the police, they should have expected more from the police? Be so for real right now. And the thing oh, about the sweep, right. and let me finish. And the thing about the sweep is, Eli is exactly right. You sweep us today, and we're gonna be right back tomorrow. Yeah. 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 That you are gonna have to tell these pigs to take the life out my body before I stop. You got to take the life out of my body. You are gonna have to physically remove me from this earth before I stop fighting for the people of Gaza. Yeah. Uh, okay, so um, I had the courage to come and speak to you today because I believe in you. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I did. I mean, I didn't have to come here to talk to you. I came here to talk to you because I wanted to hear your concerns. I'm hearing them. Um, but, you know, if I didn't care about any of the things you're saying, I would not be here. Trust me. You are here as an agent of the state no, in black I, I, I don't, I don't You have to, to understand, I they to have that. you as a black man yeah. talking to all of us yeah. to cover their asses. Yeah. And you get paid to do that shit. Yeah. You get paid $500,000 out of our fucking tuition money to come here She's and right. sit in our faces and kiki no, like him. an asshole. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. what the fuck are White supremacists, liberals, and reactionaries alike love using black faces to do the fucking dirty deed. It is not a mere accident that so many that speak at the UN, okay, all the way from Colin Powell, who very famously uh, put up that fake bullshit to say there's yellow cake, uranium, and weapons of mass destruction, down to Eric Adams and down to every single American envoy to the United Nations right now being black is not an accident. It's not. 100% is a shield. That absolutely is I mean, correct. You know, we can't just- This endless whatever. bureaucratic. You know, we I, know I, how I, to do it. If you listen to us, then we could okay, do it for you. you. Will you tell me how to do it? You know, I mean, to find out here at UCLA where we, the things we control, you know? I mean, that's, that's, that's what we can focus yeah, on. Yeah, but the reality is you have the documents where you know where you're investing, you know where those investments go. Well, you That know, is the case. Well, we have them, so you must have well, them. that's something we can look into. I don't no, 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 that's ask. something that you yeah. know, that yeah. you're aware of, that we know. I'm, and in I'm fact, a lot yeah. of these, then yeah. do your job. I'm yeah. sorry. That's, look where that's... you're putting your money. Yeah, because well. at some point it gets frustrating because I am seeing things like, for example, the region's portfolio, they reinvested in ExxonMobil in November. In November, Exxon Mobil, which fuels the tanks, it fuels the helicopter, it fuels the entire Israeli apparatus, and they invested it back in November. In yeah. November, they invest back in it. Yeah, it's not Exxon Mobil divestment is also like a fossil fuel angle too, like an environmentally conscious divestment angle as well. So there's like divestment has uh, successfully worked for a lot of stock portfolios and a lot of hedge funds that will move away from fossil fuel and like planet destroying initiatives specifically in an attempt to like appease the masses so they're actually perfectly valid in demanding transparency specifically so that they can actually figure out what are the most viable targets of divestment get us in Get us at the table with the people that matter well, then. This is, what is this conversation well, this is, for? Well, this is what we're trying to do. I mean, if the whole goal is just to bring me here to shame me, I mean, what, what is the path forward? I want to work with you to try to figure out how to, how to move forward. Um, excuse me? I think it's clear well, that... I mean, I, you know, I, I, like I said, why would I come here to take abuse just to come here? I know? think it's clear that um, we're not going to be able to reach like a specific understanding today of what exactly yeah. divestment means. Yeah. But it's very clear that what the understanding on the administrator's side is, is not in alignment with what we understand. Okay. So what I think happens moving forward is we're not going to let you task force us out of uh, organizing. We're not going to, we're not going to concede our camp just because you say you're going to propose a vote or whether you're going to propose a task force that's then going to propose a vote that's then going to get rejected. We're not going to stop until we reach a collective understanding of what divestment means, which is very different than what the administration currently believes. And once that vote is affirmative, 
once the university commits to this divestment, then we will stop. We will not stop before that because we know that the university has a tendency to outweighed us to say that we're going to do this through alternate channels and push right. the students out of that and outweighed us and then eventually it's out of your hands and then they vote no. So we're not moving until the vote is yes. Once we understand what divestment means and once it is agreed upon, not just agreed to vote, because we know you can just vote no after all that. So you need to vote yes. So, um... Just one thing. Yes. I don't know if you see the amount of students that we have here. I do. That is only a small amount compared, a small percentage compared to the amount of students that stand behind us that mm -hmm. will keep coming back over and over and over. You can't stop this encampment because you could sweep and there'll be another one the next hour, okay? Yeah. Because divestment, not only now, is a UCLA-wide, but also a UC-wide movement, but also a nationwide, worldwide movement, right, okay? Right. You can't keep the movement. Well, you can't arrest the movement. We will wait here until there is divestment. Right. Because we know you can do it. You've done it before. You've done it before in 1986. So what stopped it now? Yeah. Back then you said task force too. Back then you said we gotta evaluate our risks of Starting investments. Starting about the apartheid. And yet, guess what? It happened within four months. Okay, well, you know, uh, you know, I'm... I'm I'm, I'm these kids are to, dumb and they will lose in the wrong, long run. Just UCLA. leave these and orgs. I will look into it. I mean, like you said. Thanks, Chatter. Thank you for doing, thank you for playing a formative role in this by uh, seeing grave injustice and then seeing a bunch of students stand up to that in a very brave way and then typing in a Twitch chat about how silly all of this is and that people should just stop. You know, history books are filled to the brim with people like you, you know, famously. It's always like, guys, abolition of slavery can't happen. Fucking calm down. Calm down. Yeah, just leave. Just leave the orgs. Fuck them. Come on. Is this the best you got? You could just, you could have been at least a little bit more entertaining and interesting by claiming that the organizations are like backed by the IRGC or Hamas or Hezbollah that these students are actually an Iranian proxy, but instead you chose to do this weak-ass bitch shit. Ah, just leave the org. Come on. Come on, dude. Also, overall, in spite of the circumstances of being brutalized by Zionist counter-protest, there is only a couple hours prior and having the police do nothing, okay? Having the police do absolutely fucking nothing to protect them. It seems like they're keeping their composure okay. relatively well, the all things considered. Okay. Okay. Especially when having a, 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 a member of the administration yeah, show up like this, to specifically quote unquote debate the students under the guise of simply asking questions and also simultaneously tell them that like, well, actually, uh, everything that you experienced last night, I wasn't there to see, so I don't know. And if you tell me that like the actual Dean was there to see it, I'll just simply tell you, well, I didn't see it. And also I have no power. And we are the ones in danger. Well, like I said, I mean, you know, because we still have to figure out how to protect you. So given what would happen. It's like you and said so at the beginning a huge fundamental failure, not only for letting that shit happen last night, but then arresting us who were attacked well, and not even going after well, the people who were, who again, gave me this shit right here. Gave me this shit true. right that here. That is really All fucked up. All of the violence that was enacted upon us yeah. left with no accountability. Yeah. No, no, no uh, treatment from the police. But then once we they stay should here just and demand ask, like, do you think that's just, met, do you think that's permissible? Do you think that's honest? Put on us. Yeah. And where are the students here? Yeah, yeah. You see how that looks? That's a failure yeah. on your part. Well, that's consistent. Well, that's one of the reasons. Why not the LA Times changed that's their article title again. Well, that's one of the reasons. The why. university has clearly chosen After the violent is night at UCLA, another title change from LA Times. And one of the reasons that we're offering, we're, we're offering amnesty, you know, for students who. I love going. I love checking back in. That we we've been saying and that that we will honor. I love know? checking back in periodically with the Los Angeles Times to see like how much worse it can get. Hopefully, in the next 24-hour period, they'll hit the full Monty and be like, "It was actually pro-Hamas students 
that attacked the the Jewish students and said things like kill all the Jews as UC president launches investigation into response. Just directly the inverse of what actually happened, the exact opposite. It, it's like after everything yesterday and yet the university still can't get us someone across the bargaining table that actually makes decisions is crazy well it's crazy well, well, you're not, what more needs to happen well, you're not, for us to well, talk but, about the people yeah. who actually control the investments or at least yeah. control the fact that gene block yesterday released a statement calling our assembly unlawful for no reason yeah well it, it's not bargaining when you have demands that you're not budging on and that's not bargaining that you're making a demand so i'm here yeah, to discuss bargaining. ways that we can we're not bargaining we're demanding do, um that that we can both meet that's what bargaining is we're not Answer bargaining your to that your offer is five months or maybe investigation and let's see what happened and we don't know if it happened even though it was on live stream and everything was recorded and everything was sent to the university yeah. even though we had an unprecedented amount of press even though our own students are saying it the victims of this very attack are telling you that this happened and yet you don't know if it happened and we'll have to look into it and what no, I didn't say, no i didn't say it didn't happen what happened was horrific we just don't know the specific acts so we can hold people accountable that's what we're saying just show them a video and be like, you think this is was, good? But what we need to hold people accountable. We need to find the individuals who did it. And your ask response them. to that is then punishing the students who are here to demand a divestment? Well, no, we're not punishing the students. Oh, we're, the we're, sweep is not... No, that's not the point. They the should point ask him to watch a video and, and, and go through piece by piece because well, he's back. just like expertly moving goalposts, basically. Your solution to shutting down the, the Zionist fascist thugs that want to beat us up is to put us behind bars? Yep. No, it's not to put, no, it's not to put yep. you in the We're talking about amnesty for the students. That's what we're talking about. And, we, and we've repeatedly said that, but you're ignoring that. I keep, I keep saying that. We're not, we're not here to punish. That's not the point. That's not the point. So instead of, instead of maybe calling the mayor, or maybe calling the governor to um, call up the sweep, you're gonna go, you're gonna go to Royce Hall, just like Gene Block. Watch us get brutalized by the LAPD. Is that what you're gonna do? Well, we don't. We. You know, the, the police, they make an assessment of the safety of a situation. We don't we don't make that call. They, they, they're going to do what they think once they're here to break up what was They should ask him to condemn the Zionist right. counter protesters. You, yeah. you have the authority to call them. You have the authority. I mean, uh, like, yeah, but once once they get here, they're following protocols. You know, we, we're, we're not police officers. I'm not a police officer. You know? Why should we let him leave? What Brett. you need to understand is Brett. that you and Shut up, Brett. That's insane. Really understand shit like that. Okay. Because right now you are sitting on our faces understanding that students have been brutalized. We know that we keep each other safe. We document it. We have so much evidence against you, against the university, against LAPD, against UCPD, against CSC that wasn't even willing to walk people back to their cars while we're being bombarded. And you're going to sit here and be like, I don't have anything that I can say. I don't know what to do. You are a disgrace to the entire black community. I need you to know that. Okay. Yeah. With all due respect. I need you to know that. Because people like you get into positions of power because of things like this. And then you forget where you fucking came from. No, uh, trust me. I, I, I know where I came from. And... Again, what you're, what you're forgetting is when this encampment set up, we did not move to dismantle it. In fact, we were working with you to keep it going until what happened last night. And that's and then different on the than what first, happened in other And then on the first day of the encampment, already, like two hours in, we had counter-protesters day yeah, and we, night. They had we, been we here. We didn't send counter-protesters. We tried to manage okay, the situation. Okay, and you didn't stop them. You're talking about safety. Well, you're talking well, about student well, safety. Well, there, is free, there is free speech. As long as they're not doing violent acts, we can't stop them. They were, they were, they were doing violent acts. And, and, and when they did oh, on the second yeah. day of the encampment. Yeah. And when they did, it. we had people intervene to stop that because we can't allow Let the acts to go on, you know, okay. indefinitely. Last night, they were overwhelmed in terms of the violent acts. That's the whole point. So, you know. so when the Zionists, on the first day we set up, when a Zionist told me, I hope you, I, 
When I thought Zionists threatened to rape me, that was free speech? No, I didn't hear that. And and, and no one reported it as far as I know. That's not the that, Hey, okay, you, well, there were there were so let, many people let, around. Let, we let, have let, all heard those let, comments. Let, I am that. certain that right, security right. has heard those yeah. comments. So why has the Yeah, they, they, they well, that is absolutely on video. That. Man, this guy sure out. seemingly has not done his research. So odd. Every time, every time something, every time something that a Zionist has done that makes their entire counter protest look exactly as violent as it actually is. He's like, oh, fuck, I haven't seen it. You, uh, you let me fucking mean. talk, yeah. first of all. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so you speak of uh, free speech. Yeah. What the fuck is, is harassing, uh, sexually harassing, physically assaulting, uh, verbally assaulting, psychologically assaulting students and community members free yeah, speech yeah, yeah how is yeah. that fucking free speech yeah. i don't want to hear about that shit yeah well uh, you're not allowing us to assert our free speech um, you are complicit in fascism okay. right. you are an entity of fascism shame on you yeah. Yeah. shame shame I just, I, I hear that you're coming from this place of like, I have no power to do anything here. No, I that's, can't. That's, okay, that's, okay, that's okay. Where I'm coming, from. Right, I'm, okay. I'm coming from, I have certain things I can do and other things I can't do. Okay. And I'm trying to work with you on the things I can do. That's, that's my point. Okay. Just now, about an hour ago, we had a press conference with about over a hundred media sites, right? A uh hundred -huh. media uh -huh. outlets. We have every 360 degree angle coverage of yeah. what happened last night the absolute brutality that came yeah. from all angles clear 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 zionist aggression there's helicopter okay. footage that shows it was a zionist mob right. that came right. in okay. it was not a skirmish it was not a battle right we were brutally attacked okay. in the middle of the night can you stop, stop just like interrupting with some little noises okay thank you and oh okay you see how clear the zionist yeah. aggression is right we're we're we have been sitting here minding our, our our p's and q's for, for a week you? we had people come in with with bananas when we had signs everywhere that said there's a camper here who well, will die if there are bananas in the encampment so they brought dozens and dozens of bananas they hid them all throughout the encampment we yeah. had people coming here yelling racial slurs saying you know go to your um, master calling people dogs you had people spitting on too. them on he sunday at an event you permitted you gave them a permit you allowed them to fundraise tens of thousands of dollars with their GoFundMe page literally fucking said we want to we want to basically terrorize them we want to play videos of october 7th deep into the night and make it so that they can't sleep they can't think they can't do anything right this is psychological torture i do not use those words lightly that is their intention okay and then and then you're going to say it is completely out of my hands what the lapd does today to brutalize the, to to brutalize us okay the lapd yes maybe they intended to sweep before before the actions of last night but it is clear who the aggressors are in these situations. Don't act like you can't talk to Chancellor Block. Don't act like you can't talk to whoever does make these calls. You can't call the mayor and you have no sway here. That you can't say, these kids, these kids are sitting here. They are students. They have a First Amendment right to stay here. And then these Zionists, these Zionists, the ones who are saying, we have guns, we have knives, we have bombs, we have pepper spray, we want to kill you. That's the shit they're saying to us. And you're going to let them sit there. You're going to call the police, have them come in on us. This is looking like a Maoist struggle session. What they should ask him is if he would stay with them for the duration of the encampment. Not in a physical threatening way, but in like a... If you truly are with it, if you're truly with the shits, come sit with us. Come stand with us. Put your body to the cause. Not in like a hostage situation. I mean like voluntarily. <laughs> Uh, uh, negotiations go out that there will be an imminent uh, land invasion on Rafa imminently. Doesn't matter what the UN says. Doesn't matter what the international thing. So millions more people are going to die. That is the stakes here. We cannot wait like four more months. We cannot wait four more days. People are dying right now. We are already 208 days late. We are already 75 years late. You have no excuses. You have to pull. You have to pull. Like, I'm looking into your eyes as a person. I'm not. I'm not here to yell at you. I'm not here because I because I don't see like 
and it, like right like because i think you are subhuman anything like that that's what they see in us yeah. i'm looking at you because you are in a specific position of power and it is a people's movement that has to go and move the people in power and you have to move the other people in power if it is not you who has the the gavel to yeah. clam down and say divestment you have to go to every single person who you have contact with and tell them the time is now there is no time to wait Bro, she said they brought bananas because one of their group was allergic. Yeah, the bananas thing is so wild. It's real. There's a sign right there, back there. You can see it. That's their food tent where it says no bananas, severe allergy. The, the Israel defenders found that out and literally brought a shit ton of bananas and tried to throw it into the encampment, which is one of the most insane things you can do. Okay, it's so fucking gross. But I can't. But I know, I mean, it's pretty clear what the region's policy is on BDS and so forth and so like, on. Like, that's just the straight up malicious, well, like... Yeah. No, I haven't. I, I, don't, I haven't seen the report. No, send it to me. Send it to me. No problem, of course. Can we get yeah. that in writing? Yeah. Can we get your promise that you will advocate for us in writing? We cannot take your word. I will apologize for what happened last night again. I don't think any of us were prepared for it. And um, it's something that was horrific. This should have never happened. What you, happened last night is a symptom. It's not the problem. The problem is your investment in the, in the mass murder of Palestinians okay. Okay. and people around the world. The students were very prepared for it. What happened last night, that's just way. one symptom that's going to keep happening. Okay, that's Brett, happening don't chirp in. So we don't want you to come here and apologize and then just watch it happen over and over again. We want you to get to the root of the problem. We're telling you what the problem is. Yeah, I, I hear you. And, and again, I, uh, I will do what I can do. You know, and I, I need to know. I need to know. So, more so what, what can is. you do then? Because well, there are well, hundreds of students yeah. here. So why would the university send us someone who can't do shit? Well, I mean, what can you do for us? Well, how many people can do anything? I mean, we, we need to know first of all what we're talking about. I mean, that, would you rather meet with the uh, head of the investment foundation? I mean, I mean, I, yes. I mean, I came here to talk about a number of different. But demands, it seems like we're getting things. kicked out of here before we can do that. Yeah, well, I mean, I, you know, oh this my is, God. Yeah. Well, last well, night, well, last well night what? Call off the pigs. Night. Yeah, I mean, again, what what happened last night is why we are where we are right now. You know. And, um, you know, we're not controlling the shots at this point in terms of the police. The, I guess the police and whatever protocol they put together, you know? Call them. Call them right now. Yeah. Well, I, Call I, the mayor. That's, I, I, that's not, that's not my, my role. Yeah, yeah. You can't. You can't. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. <clears throat> if you think what happen what's happening... What happened to us last night is so bad, it's so horrific, that it was a mob violence. Putting aside your position as an administrator of this institution, of this carceral, genocidal institution, surely your personal opinion should mean that you don't think we should get swept. If you think we should get swept, Good then question. you'll stay silent. If you think we shouldn't get swept, then maybe you should call the people you know and let them know in your personal opinion that you think that's wrong. Yeah, yeah. The one thing I know is that it's not safe right now, and, and, and safety is our biggest concern because we're concerned about what may happen. You know, we don't know. I mean, these people are obviously crazed. It was mob mentality, violence, and it's hard to control or to know what that may be, you know? Okay. And, and we do have a responsibility for public safety. I mean, that's, that's an overriding concern. In the same way, well, for, for you. I mean, if you're here... Well, well, but 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 no, you're not in a jail cell. We're talking about amnesty. If you want to leave, you're free to leave right now before they sweep, and and there won't be any repercussions for anything you did for being in the encampment. Wait, what okay, do you mean but, before but that's we your, sweep? Your choice to do that, you know. But that's, that's not that's not a necessary. Um, do you still think this has bad optics? No, shots. fuck no. He's listening. like, I am listening. You're not listening to me. I'm listening to you. Yeah. Okay, you yeah. must understand that a sweep is giving every Zionist and every perpetrator of genocide a victory, an explicit victory. And you are communicating to them that they won and that we got swept, and you know that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. I'm going to ask you simply, I am not going to interrupt you. I'm going to encourage everyone here to not it's interrupt you. It's a very you. bad what precedent. What can you do for us? Well, I've talked about some things I can do for what you. Can, what is it? Well, you know, we are, well, okay, so... 
yeah, yeah. we're going to work on the divestment. We're going to find more about what's going on with the UCLA investment company, that 0.04% and any other companies to see if there's anything we can do about that we have that that we have under our control here at UCLA. I mean, I don't personally know that. I mean, I did get information, you know, from them that was the summary that I shared with you, but there's a lot more detail, obviously, in terms of how you define it versus the way they defined it. So we need to understand that. And that's one thing I can do. I can do that right now. And then I can find out whether we have the authority to actually, you know, divest from those companies. I obviously can't do it UC wide. And again, the regents may even step in and say we can't do it here, but I don't think that's the case. Okay, so there's that. We talked about a Palestinian study center. Now, that doesn't address your concerns, I understand. But in spirit, it, deal, it, it allows us to, to, <laughs> to shine a spotlight on what's going on in Gaza and other places. Yeah. In spirit. Yeah, Aww. yeah, exactly. And, and, in, the, and in the same way that you're protesting and giving voice to your concerns, you can do those things through a center formally in conjunction with this, that, and the other. You can also continue to protest anywhere on campus um, in accordance with um, you know, TPM, time um, um, policy and, and manner, you know. But, well, because they're designed for safety. This is not aligned with safety because of obviously what happened. I explained to you before about our campus and how it's open and how we can't control the borders. Bro, he's literally so, trying to justify right, a fucking like a police line, sweep no. by saying it's for your safety that we have to come in and violently arrest It is. We have, we have violent it is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then stay with the protesters. Ensure the safety of all the protesters. Surely the police won't beat a vice chancellor of the university. We want an immediate statement calling for an end to the ceasefire. Or, oh my God, calling for a ceasefire and an end to the occupation. Yeah. Um, and we want an academic and cultural boycott, including ending of the study abroad program. Nowhere in there. We also want total amnesty. We also, mind you, given how fucked up you guys responded last night, we want full payment of every student's medical bill here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what? And you know what? And you know what? A center, a center for the study of Palestine is not doing shit for any of those. Okay. We have, we created our own center right here. Okay. We're already, we're already learning what we want to learn and saying what we want to say. So we don't need you to set up a center for us. We're telling you what we want, or we need you to hear that. I heard, I heard that loud and clear. Thank you. You are yeah. acting like this came out of nowhere. We've been protesting. We've been following time, place, and manner, or not following time, place, and manner. Either way, we've been telling you what has been wrong. We've been telling you that the genocide in Gaza and the occupation of Palestine has to end. That the blood yeah. of our hands, on our hands, as students, as faculty, as admin, as the UC, has to end. We need to stop aiding and abetting. Yeah, yeah. This destruction, this inhumanity. Yeah. It, and we've been doing it. I mean, we came, we, we went to Murphy. Yeah. We told you guys our demands. We dropped right, pages right, and right. pages of our demands. Yeah. We explained exactly where we were investing, what we were demanding, what, how the investment looked like. Yeah. You are acting like this is out of nowhere that students are camping, camping here. Which is not the case. It's just that you haven't been listening. And this is another example. This is another example of not being listened to, being told the yeah. same answers over and over. I mean, Gene Block has never met with us. Gene Block doesn't want to meet with us. Because you're not taking us seriously. And we need you to understand. We will be taken seriously. Yeah, well, uh, We will be taken seriously. Trust me, I, I'm taking you seriously. Um, and, um, you know, I'm, I'm engaging with the, the demands over which we have control. You know, I was hoping that, you know, we could have that conversation and that you would give me, um, you know, um, the grace to kind of, you know, talk that through. I mean, given everything that's happened. Um, so, yeah, um, I, um, I'm sorry that things happened the way they happened last night. Um, and, um, well, we're, we're, again, we're, 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 we're trying to do what we can do. And, 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 and one of the things that, you know... Um, one of the things that we can do is uh, orchestrate a campus-wide sweep. Not to have uh, an encampment. Orchestrate a campus-wide sweep. Offer amnesty to those who are unsubscribed at the top of the hour in the form of gifted subs when the three-minute ad break is here. 
Um, we know because we've studied at UCLA, we've learned critical thinking. Because at the top of the hour, there's a three minute ad break. LAPD has a pattern on how they treat protesters and how they treat people. Yep. So now, now, if you're not a recipient of a gifted happen, sub, then all you need to do is subscribe on your own for five dollars or for yeah. free. You're not leaving. Yeah. You yeah. know, we are yeah. going to stay here. And again, I'm not. I recognize and I see, give me a second, I see that they sent you out here and you have limited power. That's clear. Here's the three and the person right that now. should be sitting here is not here and they did that on purpose. To Uh-oh. We lost Brett. Tire us out. They want this conversation to tire yeah. us out. Yeah. Sub to Hassan to support Palestine law. I've never said that. As a matter of fact, I said the exact opposite. This has nothing to do with supporting Palestine and everything to do with you avoiding the ads at the top of the fucking hour. Okay. It's effing. I'm going to try to turn it on again. Earlier in the day, and you give a report to the people above you saying you did every... You know this man is going to snap at somebody after he leaves? No, but I, I do he fear that could. the moment when that the he leaves, happened. in the immediate moments after he leaves, I fear that there is going to be a sweep. Which is why I keep fucking asking. I mean, I wish they would be like, listen, if you truly care about our safety, then you stand here with us. Because as long as the university is here, as long as an administrative official in the university is here with us, standing side by side, then the cops won't hurt us. Surely the cops won't beat the shit out of a black vice chancellor. I mean, think of the optics of that. I guess he said that, uh, uh, someone said that he asked that, they asked that, and he said he can't do that. Genuinely and honestly, and said that you are not here to protect us. That way we no, can respond that's, accordingly. That's, Don't that's give us not. answers that I, um, my intention again was sick of this grifter pretending to be a socialist but not once have you invited me to live in your home feed me or give me a sub i denounce hasanabi a sweep chat is what cops usually do at homeless encampments it's just a it's to take down the encampments they're gonna go in arrest all the fucking students that are resisting and take down all the Campus tents. Campus is unsafe, whether it's here, in class, in dorms, or anything like that. If you make a sweep today, it is just acknowledging that you are aiding the Zionists, aiding this ideology. And it's I'm also not what happened to LeBron. It. No, it didn't. He won one. Shut the fuck up. It's it's basically. It is a security. That's not a sweep. The security Technically, is here. definitionally, that's the not a sweep. Security is here to watch us, not to protect us. The security is here well, to keep us in line. The security is here to prevent yeah. us from making our voices heard. The security is here to intimidate us. The security is, the security here, for, is for not here to protect us. The, the security is yeah. not here to protect us. They yeah. have repeatedly yeah. told us that. Yeah, yeah. Well, and LAPD is going to be here to brutalize us, not to protect us. You're sitting yeah. here playing in our faces, telling us, telling us that I'm going to call the cops because I, I'm going to call the pigs in because we want to keep you all safe. Yeah. Be serious. Yeah. Be serious. Yeah. Be serious. Yeah. All right. The first round, oh, yeah. fuck up. Shut, up. shut up, shut up. It's 4 1. It's because you're yeah. scared of how many students it's there are here, of how big this movement has gone, Look. of how dedicated okay. we are, I'm, I'm, how I'm, organized, I'm, how structured. No, which is worse, LAPD is. or NYPD? Uh, they're both pretty bad. I would probably assume the NYPD is maybe worse, but I don't know. LAPD has sheriff's gangs. Wherever we are, wherever we go, they will come. Stop. Yeah. So we Stop will saying the first round. Stop it. Because our university aids and abets it and accepts, yeah. Yeah. accepts their fascist ideology. So they know they're safe here. Yeah. And we, they know that you'll silence us instead of He's leaving the Lakers. You don't know that. He is stopping them. Which, by the way, you did nothing. Yeah. You did nothing. We kept each other safe. We will continue to keep each other safe. And this encampment is safe. It's safe. Because yeah. we get to express okay. how we, our, we get we get to protect 
and envision a world where our university does not invest in the genocide of the Palestinian people. Right. Well, that's the one thing that, you know, UCLA, I can, we can look into. And, you know, I came here with the genuine hope of, you know, having a conversation and finding an off-ramp, something that would meet your needs. And, what and what so off-ramp, bro? You said you're powerless. Demand. Like, what the fuck? And I mean, I see that, you know, it's falling short, or at least you're not accepting, you know, what I've offered as in any way addressing your demands. Um, um, but I mean, you know, it's not so much about um, Georgia State University. Individually. I think it's sort of the power of our is our having graduating students um, wearing kofias dragged off campus and threatening to rescind their degrees. And, you know, what the fuck? Trying, you know, we're trying our best to be an advocate to move things forward, but you know, unilaterally, it's, it's hard to do that. And so I, I, I came with the with the idea of focusing on the things that we could do, not realizing because I hadn't met with you. That it's so United awesome that this professional managerial class representative is giving a taste of neoliberal bureaucracy to the students by being like, I have no unilateral capacity. Guys, listen, this is not how it's done. Let me tell you, as an adult, let me tell you. What next steps are, but I think we want to try to do whatever we can to according to you know, the, at the end of the day, lebron is leaving the lakers and headed to the happening. warriors we, we, we said are... that you know we we um that's crazy we're, we're, we're praying for a ceasefire and, and something that you know, yeah i mean well well again i mean we, you know, we are interested and, we are interested in negotiating with you yeah, right but none yeah. of these offers okay yeah bargaining right Bar yeah. how does bargaining work you have leverage our leverage right now is that we have this in camp in here and we're not going to move right, our leverage right, right now is that every single media outlet in the entire united states of america including around the world is looking at you right now looking yeah. there are cameras everywhere watching the way you're responding to us right that is our leverage okay we are going to use our leverage to bargain with you however we cannot bargain with you in good faith if you do not try to genuinely protect our safety right i'm going to yeah. read you some things that the Zionists were saying yesterday on the live stream, we, we, the cops arrived, the cops arrived, they pulled up maybe four hours after the brutality had already begun, and the, the Zionists on the megaphone started saying, none of us on this side ever want to defund the police. All of us love you and all of us respect you. We support the police. They started chanting, we back the blue, defend the blue, over and over again, right? The police do not scare them. They know yeah. that they, that they, the police are on their side. They know that, okay? We know that the police are not on our side. We know that when the police show up, if they're also throwing pepper spray into the encampment, the police aren't going to go over there and, and confiscate the pepper spray, even though that's what's fucking causing the protection. They're going to come in here and say this is declaring a lawful subject. Another thing. Hundreds of people around Los Angeles, including in the encampment yesterday, were calling LAPD. People who were being actively brutalized said, we are calling 911. We're asking for EMTs. Yeah, we're asking yeah, for police. Yeah. All these things. And they said, we cannot come in yet because we have not gotten the UC's jurisdiction. They have not yet allowed us into the encampment. Yeah, yeah. They said that, okay? Okay? Yeah. We, we called 911 immediately when we saw what was happening, when it was clear that our police were overwhelmed. And, um, and, and they couldn't do shit. And again, and again that's going to come out. The, so, um, I, this is not the mind. first time. Good. Remember back yeah, in March when I, I we also to, slept I was, outside? I was there. I was there. I heard the call. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have jurisdiction. Lucy won't let us in. Well, I heard. I was there when we requested. I mean, well, I was there. I was there when we requested. Okay. Well, I, I was there when we requested, and I think the investigation think will show the facts. But look, I need to go. So, I I, I appreciate. It. I think it. I yeah. think it's. I, you know. You should see what. At first, the optics were bad for the students. I think it, it, like, they were very understandably emotional. But it's so obvious that like, he's like there with disingenuous purpose, and he just flailed around. Basically, said he had no fucking power, and is now just going, "Yeah, a sweep is inevitable. Sorry, bye." He's leaving because the faculty is saying they're hearing the sweep is scheduled for 6 p.m. A Department of Education faculty member, report, this is a reporter for Bolts Magazine. Piper French says the Department of Education faculty member tells me faculty has been hearing the camp will be cleared by police tonight. He's been hearing the possibility of 6 p.m., but it's all rumors now. Don't let him go. Don't let him go. That's our leverage. You think they'll tear gas, the vice chancellor? We could have stalled them. We could have maybe just stalled them and kept talking to them for a long ass time. He said, can't stop an administrator from clocking out at five. He was like, listen. 
Listen, guys, my job here is over. It's 5 p.m. Peace. I got texted for some people. Brett, this week is scheduled for six, but they've created shields and shit. It's going to get wild. Be safe. Chatter. Yeah, um...